Design activism uh, for me is about using design processes of making either artifacts, services or systems that somehow help um, overcome social inequalities or injustice in our society. So for me, design activism means taking a position on design. Uh, design activism is an attitude which you take uh, full time in your practice. It's not a project that you do at the weekend and then you return to your regular job during the week. Uh, it's a, a responsible and ethical position, I think, to be responsible for the work that you do because it has an impact on people in the everyday. And, uh, and as such, uh, we, we need to be activists. We need to be constantly aware of the impact of our work, commercially, socially, culturally, politically. Design is really about uh, how we want to live well and better, and not just for humans, but for beyond the human. Activism can be from extreme left or extreme right. Activism can include people or exclude them. Uh, and activism is always underpinned by an ideology. My ideology underneath design activism is based on a more equitable and fair world, not just for humans, but uh, other living beings, a wider world. Design activism is important today because we are witnessing, you could say, social inequalities on a number of levels. As I see it, neoliberalism has hijacked our political system. And due to that, for a number of reasons, our welfare societies are very much challenged at the moment. There is not enough space for those who need help in our society. Marginalized groups, and I'm not only thinking about migrants and refugees, I'm also thinking about citizens in our society, uh, youth who studies, elderly people, uh, middle and lower income groups, such as nurses, policemen, teachers. Uh, they are increasingly challenged uh, in our society because they don't can they can't afford education, they can't afford housing and living, and because of that, we need to find very different ways of organizing our homes, our workplaces, and our society. University at BA level and certainly at MIT level is supposed to be a space in which. Um, your knowledge is expanded, within which new knowledge is discovered, within which provocative questions are asked, and, and the status quo is challenged, and uh, the canon of design is questioned in a kind of decolonial way. I think there are so many things that education can do and should do, and it's up to more um, active design educators or activist oriented design educators to make sure that the discipline does not lose relevance in contemporary society. So we have a multiple crisis around species extinction, we have a multiple crisis around climate change, we have a multiple uh, crisis around the, the loss of uh, biodiversity. Uh, we can say we are living in dark times partly because our politics has been forced into extreme positions and this is unhealthy because we live in a collective world, not a divided world. Uh, for us to be activists with our designing is absolutely necessary now. So I do think that design activism, especially through its participatory processes, maybe offers a little bit of light for new political practices. My chapter in the book is about trying to give an account, a kind of a, a sober account of what kind of changes we can expect from uh, design activism. There has been a lot of, in my opinion, overblown claims of design activists being able to revolutionize our society. And I see more like design activism will prompt minor but important significant changes and it will not sort of overturn the political system we have at the moment, but it will revolutionize it from within, but on a minor scale. My chapter in this book concerns the Alternative Art School. And the Alternative Art School is a, a kind of elective that I set up quite a few years ago on the BA Graphic Design course at Kingston School of Art. Um, and it is set up to give students uh, a form of critical agency a form of autonomy 
within the institution itself. So it's a school within a school. And in that school, students can decide what they want to do and they can really use this space to be provocative, um, to make um, difficult statements, to ask difficult questions about the world and ask difficult questions about design. For the chapter here in, in uh, Design and Activism, I wrote more about this concept of poesis. How do we bring things into the world that also enable us to continue the world? So we are bringing a lot of things into the world that are actually destroying it uh, through designing. We need to bring things into the world that regenerate the world. Through our designing and through our activist designing, we need to challenge uh, the economic models. And actually I would regard the pandemic as an opportunity to find a bigger voice for not only the people here, but all people who want to make an active contribution through their designing. So it's, it's an opportunity right now.